Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. This is Brandon Fire Daddy Tarot. I'll throw out the cards for you today. And I will read out for you, Pisces. These general, general reads. Excuse me, guys. Now, how we do this, just see what comes out. General energy going on for Pisces today. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. I want to thank you guys for all your uh, love, all your like, all your subscribe, support. It's pretty awesome. I got pretty good fans here on YouTube. You guys are. Uh, the best you could ask for, honestly. So, I'm going to shuffle these up. I want to add source to help me see and speak clearly for my Pisces friends and help Pisces see and hear what they need to see and hear out of this for their highest good. Thank you, my gods. I cannot do this without you. I'm playing with the Spirit Song Tarot again this week. I'm going to clarify with the Moon Garden Tarot. And I've still got the Yin Yang Oracles and the Actual oracles out, and I got my cup of hat. So let's cut the deck here again. Nice little reef, spicy sun, moon, and rising Venus. All that good stuff. Please, my guys. Give me card, Pisces. Eight cups. This can be a uh, walking away energy. It can be a contemplation energy, too. Oh, here it says quest and renewal. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. I mean, the pool's here. Traveler in this deck. Let's say walking, doesn't it? I don't know what you're walking away from, Pisces, but going out on a new adventure. Just you, it looks like. Just you. What do we got? Okay, Pentacles. Earth energy on that. Towards Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody you know? This game says courage and commitment on it. Could have been someone non familiar with this saying here you're walking away from them with this eight of cups here. What it looks like to me. Well, it looks like to me it might have some earth in the chart. I don't know. Yeah, two pentacles. It be a card about balance and karmic balancing. It could also be a card about someone trying to juggle two individuals, though, can it? A bit of a cheater, possibly, Pisces. Is that what we got going on here? We got ace of cups, though. Just coming out of it. More water energy. It's definitely a place to spread. It says happiness and abundance on it. I don't know if this is in the recent past that you walked away from this person, but you walked away from them because they were, uh, they were juggling. They were balancing, trying to balance an act between you and somebody else. Not exactly right, is Pisces? A couple more cards, please. Yeah, you manifesting something in here. We get the nine of Cup to your wish to fill in the places. What's going on? Is this you thinking about wish fulfillment? Or are they wishing to get you back? We're going to find out here probably soon. We've got the Moon Garden Tarot. It likes to talk about energies like this. This deck reads a little darker than my other decks. I do like it. That's beautiful deck. i shuffle this Moon Garden Tarot up. See what it wants to talk about the Pisces and Pisces. Um, Friend, if you want to call him that, here that was uh, juggling, juggling a Pisces friend and somebody else. I don't like it. Pisces walked away for the time being, it looks like. And there's some kind of wish fulfillment going on down here at the uh, end of this. This could be something new coming, especially with an ace there. Could also be them telling you they're going to turn over a new leaf. I don't know yet. Here's Ontario, get the card, please. And the king. King of Wands, in this deck, King of Wands has a loser crawling up his freaking throne, freaking fire. Hot headed type of energy can be. Someone who likes to get around. I mean. They could have some fire in their chart too. 
feel like that's the same person. All that energy right there, but this Kings. What do we got? Pisces. Ooh, not sweet, dude. That where they at right now? Is that where they at right now? Did you walk away? You walked away. They're not a swords about it. Sitting down there between all them swords, crying their eyeballs out. They know they screwed up, don't they, Pisces? I think this is about them trying to come back. But here's the end of a burdensome cycle for you. End of a burdensome cycle. Is that probably what this gratitude is about? This could be some of your energy down here. It's not a coach. You might just be thankful to be out of this crap, dude. That's what it looks like. That's 10 wands there. Definitely an end. Ooh, five pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, this old king ain't feeling too hot right now. Like she's went on a new adventure without him because, well, this says they screwed up, man. This says whoever this king down here was screwed up, male or female. Terry doesn't know gender. Terry knows energy. And hangman's here. I'd say Pisces don't come out of the hangman's tree with that gin there. This is probably their energy. Their hangman ever what the hell they did. Their hangman ever what they did. They know what they did. They're taking a break thinking about it now, but uh, looks like it might be too late for them, man. One more card here on this ace, please. What's this ace about going here? Oh, eight wands. Eight of Wands, it's coming in hot energy. You might be getting some communication from this person soon. I don't know, Pisces. I don't know. See what we got. Let's get a couple more cards out of the Moon Garden Trail. Like I said, the Moon Garden Trail likes to talk about energies like this. We'll shuffle them up again, see what we got. We got for Pisces, walk away from my cheater. And. The cheaters looking to want to come in all uh, eight of wands. They're in the hanging tree right now, not you. They're five pentacles and nine swords about this. They ain't feeling too hot. They're feeling pretty good though. Seven cups, this part about choices. This part about choices, man. This person didn't make the best choices. That's why they're in the hanging tree. Make some dumb choices. Definitely when they're Pisces around. Yeah, this person made some dumb choices. Good card. Four swords energy, eight of swords. You cut this king off, dude. It's done. It is freaking done. Ace of Pentacles. They're going to come in with some kind of a gift or some kind of apology there, aren't they? That's what they're going to do. Yeah, four wands. You'll be like, oh, Pisces, don't leave me, dude. You're, you're like family. That's how it's going to sound. Don't give a shit for family, do you? Towers here, sudden change. Definitely with some sudden change here. I don't think this happened too long ago. This looks like it's very recent, possibly. Sudden change, maybe their other option, uh, the seven down here. Maybe they cut them off too. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah, Fox Swords. Fox Swords is here. Swords all over this place. This crap is done, man. This, this is done. You've walked away. You've walked away. They're going to try to come in hot here and sweep you back up, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. You don't think that's what's going to happen with all these swords on it. And there's an end of a cycle down here with that 10 wall. This is a burdensome cycle, it looks like. You probably had a feeling for a while about it. Or maybe you caught him. Maybe they admitted to it. I'm not exactly sure. But you found out somehow and you put swords all over it and said enough was enough. This seven here, they probably had a lot of people they were messing uh, around with the other one. Anyway, let's get a uh, yin yang oracle review out on this Pisces. See what it wants to talk about. Any kind of guidance it can give us today. 
pop the shelf of these little things up, that is. What's going on? Give me an angle of Pisces, please. Pisces on the spread of walking, walking away. It's not the painful what the spread. It's things just flew out of here, man. Not really surprised at this part here. This part is a section. Every time I see this card, it comes out and spread and always feels like a cheater. I'll put that right there with all them cups, all them choices that people had. Healing, healing inner child. They might have some healing to do. Things that happened to them in their childhood, maybe where they are. Very possible. Vanity, pride, and ego. Yeah, that's why we cheat like that. It does have to do with ego most of the time. First, it's probably pretty egotistical, word, but it really is, and it says offer right here. They're about to make you an offer. If I had to guess, you're probably going to turn them down, aren't you? Probably going to turn them down. It's actually cold, yeah. You're gonna turn it down. You ain't letting them come back at pretty prices. That's freaking great for you. Third eye. Clarity. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you're seeing things pretty cool here. The tower here. This is about sudden change. It's about change. It's not always a bad thing though. A lot of times we walk away from stuff like this, it's changing for the better. I mean, for me, it's always changing for the better walking away from cheer. One more regret and repression. I said they're regretting the things they did right now, Pisces. Doesn't mean you have to let them come back again if you want to. It's completely up to you, my friends. All right, Astro Oracle, Pisces, please. Yeah, it's been a little bit longer for my Pisces friends. Let's see what we got here. What's the actual if we want to talk about Pisces today? What do we got? Let's do a card, please. That looks like a North Node. Future. It says Future on. Maybe that's where they're at. Maybe they still see a future with you. Maybe you still see a future with them. Like I said, I wouldn't take them back, but I can't tell you what to do here, man. I'll tell you what to do, but I do think in the near future, they definitely going to come in some kind of offer here and some kind of apology. Completely up to you what to do with that. They may or may not actually change. Venus, beloved. Oh, your energy loving on yourself right now. Right, just loving on yourself right now, Pisces. I'd say that's where you're at. Good for you, man. One more. Mercury. Yeah, there it is. Messages. I had a feeling this card was going to jump out. Even though there were no nights on it. I had a feeling this card would jump out because of this section of the spread here. It says they're going to come in with some kind of offer. I'd be ready for it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.